everyone. Hope you're doing well today. My name is Jessica Hazen and I'm with Portland Pediatric and Family Nutrition. Um, today's blog post will be on nutrition needs while, lactation, while breastfeeding or while lactating. Um, I know many women want to know how their nutritional needs change while they're breastfeeding. You know, what can affect my milk supply? What foods should I eat to produce quality milk for my baby? You know, um, what is there any supplements that I need to take to boost up my milk supply? So I hope to answer some of those questions in this post today. Um, for moms that choose to exclusively nurse, they are providing their baby with all of their nutrient needs that they need during their first six months after delivery. So making sure that mom is eating a nutrient-rich um, diet um, and, and foods while breastfeeding is super important, not only because you are supplying your infant with all of their energy needs and requirements, but additionally, your body really is working to heal from delivery and, replen and working to replenish any of those stores that might have been lacking um, after delivery, throughout pregnancy, those sort of things. Um, so making sure, and also um, to make sure to, obviously with a newborn, um, you know, your body is kind of going through a lot. So keeping up with those demands that you may need energy-wise um, with having a newborn um, as well. So the nutritional requirements during breastfeeding are really similar to those during pregnancy. And since your body is producing um, breast milk for your baby, your calorie needs do increase. And they increase um, to about 200 to 500 calories per day. Um, and that's about equivalent to one, or, one to three snacks um, per day if those snacks are about 150 to 200 calories. Um, so um, when a, really when a mom is feeling her best, um, the more energy she will have to take care of her baby and the more quickly she can heal after delivery. So um, milk supply really is based off of supply and demand and how much baby is eating and how much your body will produce. Um, not necessarily by certain foods or certain types or amounts of foods um, that you eat. Um, occasionally a mother's calorie or fluid intake can affect milk production um, so in general, you know, uh, women should simply just listen to your body. You know, it's, nece it's not really necessary to force fluids or anything like that, but really drinking to satisfy your thirst is typically sufficient for women or mothers to stay hydrated. I know that a lot of times um, when you have a newborn, it gets a little bit crazy and a lot of the focus goes to baby. Um, but making sure that you're taking care of yourself is key in order for you to have the energy to take care of baby. Um, so really pay attention, paying attention to your body's signals and cues um, can help with that and listening to what your needs are, whether you know your body's telling you to eat something that you're hungry or telling you that you're thirsty. Um, a lot of women have found that keeping a water bottle by where they're nursing um, can help remind them to drink or at their office desk. Um, those are some ways to kind of remind yourself to get some fluids in. Um, but really the main message is listen to your body's cues, eat when you're hungry, drink when you're thirsty. Uh, for the most part, a lactating woman will produce all of the, um, produce milk in the amounts and needs that a baby needs nutritionally, um, mainly because um, they'll be pulling from um, mom's stores, um, regardless of what mom's diet is. So um, that's important to remember. However, there are some components of breast milk um, that can be altered really simply by changing what type of foods mom's eating. And one of those nutrients um, that mom can consume and that can change in her breast milk is um, the type of fat she's eating. So more of those healthy fats. So the omega-3 fatty acids um, and like DHA type um, fats um, and the more of those mom consumes, the more that that will be transfer transferred into the breast milk and baby will receive. And remember, remember DHA is super important for baby's brain and eye development. Um, and so foods that have these type of fats are things like um, fatty fish, like salmon, mackerel, herring, sardines. Um, a lot of meats and eggs have those. Nuts and seeds algae, avocado, and dairy products as well. Another important nutrient that a nursing mom can focus on um, is vitamin D. Breast milk doesn't have 
large amounts of vitamin D. Um, so making sure that you're eating enough um, or potentially supplementing can ensure that baby's getting what he or she needs. And vitamin D is critical to infants in order to maintain their skeletal integrity as well as um, it's key in maintenance of baby's immune system. Vitamin D is found in foods such as sunflower seeds, pistachios, fish, poultry, pork, dried fruit, um, lean meats, bananas, avocados, and spinach. Um, bottom line is making sure that you're eating a variety of different foods can help um, while breastfeeding, not only to provide you with a balance of nutrients, um, but also I think it's interesting that um, it can actually change the flavor of the breast milks, different nutrients and different foods. And this will expose your baby to different flavors and tastes, and um, which might help him or her uh, more easily accept foods, um, solid foods down the road when they're ready for that. So I think that's really interesting. Um, if you do have any other questions, feel free to email me at jessica at pdxpn.com. Um, I'm, or you can also, I'm doing 15 minute free consults over the phone that we can talk more about your needs or your questions. Um, you can also go online to the website and schedule an appointment with me. Um, so we can kind of sit down and talk about your specific needs and if you're having any questions about what you should eat while you're breastfeeding specifically. Um, other than that, um, have a great day. Thanks.